So once we have our admit card, we have all the information required for the examination, the time and minutes, everything here. So we have this ready. Let's keep this aside for a while. Now we move on to the next process, which is how to download the SEB. This safe exam browser is compulsory to download to give the SII examination. So we have five steps. I'll walk you through all the steps individually. First, we have to have a latest version of our Chrome. So to check that, what we do is uh, we go to our Chrome and we click this link. So now I will download the latest version of Chrome. If it's not updated, Okay, now I have successfully down, downloaded the Chrome. So I will accept and install. It's already done. Uh, so now I go to the next step, which is step two. If you don't do this step one, you will have uh, problems while logging in. So this step is very necessary. So another thing we do is there is a second link provided here. So we go to that link. This portal appears. So again, uh, this is a candidate login. You need your SII ID. If you don't have this, I'm repeatedly telling you to contact your respective counselor so that uh, they will provide you with this ID. So we will exactly copy the CAPTCHA code. If this is wrong, you'll not be able to log in. Okay, now we are uh, inside this. So uh, we have a latest Chrome browser. For simplicity, don't go to Microsoft Edge. We all use uh, Chrome browser. And in the previous process, we have already downloaded the latest version of Chrome browser. So we can straight away click to uh, this link. This will automatically download a, a file. So we have to run this to install. So I click on run and I will click next. So this will uh, ask me to, uh, this says that, do you want to allow this app uh, to make changes to your device? We do yes, as this is very safe. And we close. So once we do this process, we will have two uh, files here. One is SCB Lite and another is SCB Lite Repair Tool. So we go to SCB Lite. When we start SCB Lite, here comes a warning. First of all, it says, uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You click on yes, because this is completely safe. And when it opens SCB Lite, there comes another warning saying, launching safe browser will close all other applications and any unsafe data will be lost. So do you want to proceed? Don't click yes until and unless you have saved all the important documents. For example, I am working here with a presentation. So if my presentation is not saved, don't click yes. Uh, go to your presentation file or any other files you are working on and save. Close it and then you click on yes. Once you click on yes, you will be directed to a page, a login page. This page, you uh, with this page, you can give your main test or your mock test. Here yeah, you, you have a space to input your login ID and continue. For mock test, uh, you will be provided with uh, the mock test login ID and password. You will have five login ID and password. 
uh, which you can enter and give five mock tests. If you don't have the mock test login ID and password, NTA and SII have given uh, various WhatsApp numbers where you can contact. I'll uh, put the banner in the screen. You can see it in the screen. You contact those WhatsApp numbers, give your SII ID, and they will provide you with all the five login IDs and passwords. Also, you'll be using this space for your main test. For your main test, you will have the you will have the login ID here in your admit card. This number is your login ID for final test. And after clicking on continue, you will have to enter a password which is given here. I hope every one of you are clear about this. In terms of any confusion during the test, you will have to contact SII and NTA. The contact details, helpline numbers, and email ID are displayed here on your screen. Uh, in case of you are having any technical difficulties, you can email them. Or if you are in a space where you can call them, you, here are the numbers you can call. And the WhatsApp numbers are available for you to message them even during the test. I hope these processes are very clear to you. If in case of any confusion, even after this, you can contact your counselor. They will help you addressing your issue. Thank you.